A syllogism is called a deductive argument with two premises and a conclusion. That's it. It's real short. Freedom to make moral choices cannot be explained by physical laws. True? Your freedom to decide what's right and wrong isn't based on a physical law like gravity or the strong nuclear force or something like that. There's no equation mathematically or physically for you deciding what's right or wrong. That's why we talked in book one through subjectivism versus objectivism. That's why you can have two people in a room. One says abortion is fine. The other says it's murder, right? Because there is no physical law. Otherwise, we'd be determined and we'd all decide together. We'd all have one common way of looking at morality. So you can't explain it by physical laws. People make moral choices. Yes. Right? So far, so good? Yes. Therefore, the conclusion is the source of moral choices is non-physical. Calculus, right. calculus is deductive in nature. Calculus is an observable phenomenon that you measure. Calculus was come about after geometry and trigonometry when shapes, and they went into differentials. So that's actually an observable thing. I'm talking I'm here. Yeah, but that's not moral choice. I'm, I'm focused. Look at the premise. I said freedom to make mathematical choices. No, I, I wasn't talking calculus or geometry. Well, I'm talking. So here I'm talking about morality only. So I'm saying, therefore, the source of morality, right versus wrong, has to be non-physical. <laughs> Remember, you have the freedom <laughs> to write your own deductive arguments. What you want to do with a premise is weigh the merit of the premise on its own, its own merits, period, nothing else, true or false. If it's true, you can keep moving. If the premise is false, you can't. Like if I said Joe is a married bachelor, <laughs> false, right? You can falsify that. Therefore, the next premise isn't worth talking about. So if someone, has, if someone has a tumor, do we call it mental wellness? No, because the word it tells you the answer, right? Something happens, something is quote unquote wrong. Something's off. This is the data point I talked about in the thousand data points. It's, it's off. What do we do when we find someone who has cancer, mental illness, um, major uh, hit by a car, I mean, whatever you want to call it, we, we have to diagnose and take care of them because they're in a situation where they need help. Normal, the normal folks walking around, this is what I'm talking about in general, when you have an outlier, it's actually a good thing because it's calling out specifically, it's an argument for your premise because in order to have something different, it has to violate the premise. Um, this is why we react so strongly to things in our culture. When someone says that um, the baby in the womb is, uh, is not a person, if it's the 1800s, late 1800s, it's not a big deal. Because when Darwin came along and he showed they showed embryology and they said, look at how similar they all look. Then most of us believed, well, yeah, we just evolved. Then Roe versus Wade comes along and you actually have doctors through fetology raising their hands saying, this is wrong. This is wrong. Science can tell you this is a human being. It's not a polywog. Now you're seeing it's becoming a big issue in our culture because now in order, the arguments changed. We no longer say the baby in the womb isn't human. Now we talk about rights. It's no longer the same argument anymore. You notice that? Think about black people. You just saw on the screen. In our country, in the uh, 1940s, how were black people treated? Property, subhuman. I do something in this class at the 1906 World's Fair in St. Louis where they put a black person in a cage and everybody paid money to see the missing link. Our culture actually believed it. 
could be called themselves Christians but didn't read the Bible. It's actually the Christian. It's actually the Christians. Well, I'm going to take this back a minute. It's kind of interesting. It starts off with the scientists. New Jersey University, New York University are the ones who set up the World's Fair because scientifically, through Darwinism, they're saying it's obvious. It's terrible. Now, today, what would happen if we talked about people of different skin colors being subhuman? You'd be an outlier. You'd be an idiot. Never mind our races. You'd be an idiot because we know it's stupid and it's false. Right? Well, old white guys. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, but where do we get that from that all people are the same? This is, we got away from this. We get away from this. All right, so this is, what, this is what I ask you to do is when you're thinking of these things, think about how culture and society works. And the way it works in general is people are literally <clears throat> being taught things where they're able to, through their own thinking, they're able to make decisions for themselves.